Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the unit 4 in uh, Big Data Analytics. See, these are the, all the topics which were included in the unit 4. The first one is the Hadoop architecture and uh, Hadoop, uh, we have to discuss about what is the differences between the RTBMS versus Hadoop. And uh, second one is the Hadoop overview, we will discuss uh, briefly about the Hadoop overview. Hadoop distributors, who are the original distributors of the Hadoop. And then we will discuss uh, important points about HDFS and HDFS demons and the anatomy of file read and write, how the file reading and writing will be done with the help of the Hadoop and then name node and then what is meant by secondary name nodes and what is meant by data nodes and then followed by HDFS architecture we will discuss and then Hadoop configuration and the Hadoop reduce framework and the role of HBase in big data processing and we will discuss briefly about the highway and the Big. Right, these are the concepts in the unit 4. So, let me give you uh, a brief introduction about what is the Hadoop architecture and uh, what are the main components that which we are having in that Hadoop architecture. We will see. So, in the Hadoop architecture, uh, basically we are having the four elements are there. That is, the uh, first one is the map reduce, second one is HDFS Hadoop distributed file system, and yarn at another resource negotiator, and the uh, common utilities for the Hadoop common files. So, these are the four layers. How these four layers were represented means this is the representation of the four layers. That is, a C. first one is the map reduce, second one is HDFS, third one is yarn, and fourth one is the Hadoop common. So, basically, this map reduce is used for the distributed processing purpose, and then the HDFS is used for the distributed storage purpose. HDFS is basically important only for the storage part. So, if any of the large and massive files are there, means we can uh, dump very easily in the HDFS uh, by breaking it uh, our entire file into the onto the different nodes or the blocks and next one is the yarn what about the yarn is at another resource negotiator and uh, job scheduling and resource managers are there and Hadoop common files that is the Java library and the utility files are there uh, and uh, next if we go for the map reuse uh, see if you are going to take any sort of big data inputs here uh, that big data inputs I am going to send it first to the Two main important functions will be there that is the map function and the reducer function. First, we will send to the mapper function where this mapper function is responsible for breaking your entire query into the key value pairs. That means I am going to get my output as the key value pairs and all these key value pairs I am going to send it as an input to the reducer function. And this reducer function it will do all the summarizations, uh, it will perform all the aggregations, all these things can be done by the reducer and then followed by the we are going to send it to the output files. So, this is about the map reduce uh, functionalities and then followed by the map tasks like uh, record readers. I am having, if you take the mapper task, uh, what are the few functionalities that which we are having means uh, one is the record reader and second one is the map, third one is the combiner and fourth one is the partitioner. See, these are the few elements are there in the mapper function internally and uh, what about this record reader? What it will do means it is going to break your entire record into the uh, it will break it into the few records and it is responsible for providing the key value pairs in the map function. In the map function, whatever the key value pairs are generated, that will be generated by our record reader. And uh, the key is actually its locational information. What is meant by key here? It is nothing but the location information in where that particular object is located. That information we are going to represent using the key value. And whereas the value, it is nothing but uh, the data which is associated with that uh, function. That is the value. And next one is the map. What is meant by map here? Map is nothing but it is a user-defined function whose work is to process the tuples. I will get lot of tuples in the record reader. All these tuples will be processed by the mapper function. And uh, this map function either doesn't generate any key value pairs or it will generate multiple pairs of the based upon the given tuples. And next one is the combiner. What is the role of the combiner here? Combiner will be used to perform the grouping of the data in the mapper workflows here. It is similar to the local reducers. So, it will do all the com combination or combining part of all the key value pairs into one single combined pair. And partitioner, what is the role of the partitioner here? Partitioner is basically responsible for fetching all the key value pairs uh, which is generated by the mapper faces. And the partitioner generates the shards. Shards means nothing but the fragments of the given data sets here. And uh, corresponding to each and every reducer. For each and every reducer, I will get many number of reducers. That is called a shard. 
and the hash code of each key is also fetched by this partition. Each and every partition, for each and every partition which is having the key, we are going to fetch the hash codes. So then the partitional performs its uh, hash code modulus with the number of reducers. How many number of reducers are there? That many number of reducers. Functionality we are going to perform. That will be performed by the partition. See, with, with a, a simple uh, uh, thing we have written it. That is key dot hash code percentage number of reducers. Then we are going to get how many number of shards we are going to get. So this is about the map task. Let's see about the reducer task here. So reducer task again we are having the three functionalities are there. One is shuffle and sort. Second one is the reduce and third one is the output count. So we know about the shuffling and the sorting here. Uh, and the task of the reducer uh, with this step is the process in which the mapper generates the intermediate key value pairs. We know that mapper will be generating the intermediate key value pairs and we are going to transform or we, are, we will uh, forward that uh, key value pairs to the reducer task. That particular process is called as shuffling here. That particular process is called shuffling here and using the shuffling process, the system can sort the data using its key values. We can sort the data using the key values here. And uh, what about the reducer uh, task here? The main function of the reducer task is to gather the tuples uh, generated from the map and uh, then perform sorting and aggregation type uh, functionality is based upon the key value pairs depending upon its uh, key elements. And next one is the output format. What is that output format here? Once all the operations are performed, the key value pairs are written into the file with the help of the record writer. So all these operations are performed. That means sorting, aggregations, combining, all these things are performed. Means then we will write all the key value pairs. We can write it into one single file. And that is nothing but your output file here. So all these things are uh, functionalities will be considered in the reducer task. Then we can see how this particular splitting can be done using the HDFS. So if you see this particular thing, HDFS split uh, uh, can be done on the input of the key value pairs where after getting this uh, input data here that we are going to send it to the map function. From the map function, I am going to get the key value pairs. K1, V1 means uh, it is nothing but one key value pair. KK, VK means it is also one key value pair. From the three different map functionalities, I am going to send it to the uh, shuffle and sorting here. Shuffling and sorting will be done based upon the key values. And then we will forward that uh, data to the reducer function where it will perform all the aggregation and sorting type functionalities by the reduce function and then we will get final key value, final key one and the final values we are going to get it here. So this is the diagrammatic representation how the splitting can be done and how the map function can be implemented and how the shuffling and sorting can be done. Uh, and how the reduce function can be implemented, how we are going to get the final key values and final key pairs. That's all for today's guys. I hope you like this video.